Hey guys, John here, and today I'm going to start a new series for the channel. It's called Geared Up Challenge. Now in this, we're going to play games where that are extremely hard, or deemed hard, and we're going to try to either beat levels from the game that are hard, or the whole games themselves. So the first game I chose was Goldeneye. But I'm going to do it with a bit of a challenge. I'm going to do it on enemy rockets on Double O Agent. Which, the game's hard enough on Double O Agent, but let's just make it a bit harder. Now with enemy rockets, it's going to be very, very interesting, because they can be one-hit kills if they hit you directly on, and splash damage will just do a lot of damage. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, the, ro the rockets might make some of the bosses a bit easier. We'll see. Even though in this game, bosses really aren't bosses, per se. Um, what are you doing? Goldeneye AI at its best. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, they can see you from far away. So they're probably going to start running down here. They killed their own guy. They can't see you over these ledges, so I'll take... I'll take it. Now I gotta get used... Did he just kill his own guy? Oh no, there he is. I gotta get used to this new control stick I have. It's a GameCube style control stick, so it's really sensitive, so you're going to be seeing me miss a lot, because I'm used to the old one where it was kind of broken. So let's just head down here, and now we don't have to worry about these guys. Usually I would snipe them up there, but they came after me first. So, oh jeez, they see me already. Uh, a thing I'm going to have to do with this is that if I can't beat a level on 00 Agent because one of the objectives gets really screwed up because of uh, the rockets, I am just going to have to do it on Secret Agent. And see, that's how fast you can die. So, I will meet you guys back. Okay, I'm back. So, let's continue on and see if I don't die this time. There's a guy right behind here. He hasn't seen me. Oh. Thing with this game, if you're close enough to them, they can't shoot their rocket. But sometimes they do get a shot off. It's really weird. So what I want to do here is that I need ammo for these guns, because obviously I'm just going to get rockets. So what I'm going to do here is go blow these up. And I will get some KF-7 ammo for my machine gun. And also for my sniper rifle, since they share ammo. And now, a weird thing with this game is that if you walk over weapons looking at them, you won't pick them up. So make sure just to do like a few sweeps over this, and you'll pick them all up. And that should be good. So, uh, I kind of want to be safe with this. Because there's two guards on the other side here. So what I'm going to do is attempt to snipe this guy with this really, really sensitive stick. Where is he? There's usually a guard around this tower. And hopefully he shows up. Either snipe him or just scare him to come chasing after me. Ah, good. It's funny how fast you can shoot a sniper rifle in this game. And now, on the other side here, it's going to be a guy who starts running to the alarm. Now, you at least want to shoot him once, because if you shoot him once, he'll stop running for it and just come after you. So there we go. Now, what we don't want to do is alert these guys in here. So, we're going to use our pistol to destroy the alarm, since that's an objective. Now we come over here. Now you can either throw the modem on here, on the satellite dish. It's easier to throw it on here. But I remember weird things happening with this game. I'll aim at the modem, but sometimes, like, the aim. yeah, that happens. You see, I was aiming directly at it, but yeah. So I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back. So you know what? Screw my own advice. I'm going to throw it at the dish. 
because the dish is a much bigger target and probably won't miss. Uh, woman, I threw it on the wrong side. I didn't know that, that mattered. Okay, I guess I was wrong. There we go. I guess I'm an idiot just for uh, thinking that it did go up there. I'm, I remember as a kid throwing it up there and it working, but I guess not. And yeah, as you can see, it throws it in an arc shape, kind of like the rock in Friday the 13th, so it really doesn't work so well. Now, down here I have to go for the last objective, but we'll be getting there soon enough. It's, it's the hardest part of the game. Or, not the game, the level, sorry. So, what I'm going to do in this series is, if a level's boring, like boring and easy, I'm going to try to uh, try to find a way to make it more exciting by making it harder on myself, because it's already not hard enough. Oh. oh. How do you do that? <laughs> oh, God. And a little tidbit. Uh, everybody probably knows about this, but over there is a beta island. I've been over there by using a game shark. You can use a um, you can use a boat or a a cross water code, and it's pretty interesting. It has a drone gun over there and uh, a tower, but they really don't have physics to them. But that was supposed to be an inje objective in the game to get the uh, bungee jump equipment, because as you will see at the end of this, Bond doesn't use anything to jump off the dam with. But I guess they found that just to be, like, just to take way too long. So they scrapped it. Okay, one more. I'll get this alarm at the end. But yeah, the boat was supposed to be around that dock there. And the gun was supposed to be shooting at you. I don't know how that would be fair, but... Whatever, I guess. So. Actually, I'll use my pistol for this because I need the sniper rifle to get the later guards. So we'll come back here because there's no guards along this area of the tunnel. They all start around this area. So, I guess this last thing right here. Come on. There we go. Come down here and let's make a Actually, let's not make noise. Let's make an even bigger noise here. Because there was a guard right around there. Now, if I'm lucky, I can maybe lure a guard. Because if I can lure them right here, they can't open this gate. But I can shoot them through it, which is nice. But it's kind of hard. Let's see. shoot a bunch of bullets and hopefully one of them comes. Uh, luring's really weird in this game. Like, the mechanics aren't so great. Okay, so right behind here is a guard. But, I can't poke too far out or else he'll see me. And it's not very good if he sees me, because these are really condensed hallways, so that he can hit a rocket anywhere and it'll basically kill me. So I gotta take this slow. And also, their rockets go very, very far. Now I know there's a guy right here. There we go. Okay. Now he's an easy enough guard to get. Now you also gotta watch out when you kill these guys, sometimes their partners come running out trying to kill you. Which isn't very nice, especially when they got rockets. Maybe I can hit this guy. It'll make it easier later on. Slowly inch forward. Okay, that guy has a rocket down there, but I'll get him as quickly as possible, because he's really dangerous. Because he uses the opposite hand, and in this game, 
opposite hands matter because since he is right-handed, he could shoot a rocket when I can barely see him when I'm up closer. And that means he can hit me easier. Come on. Whoa. That would not have been good. I'm wondering if they're going to be lured to me now. Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see if he comes back down here. As you can see, this is really dangerous. But luckily, when I'm at this gate, they can't see me through it. They know I'm behind it, but they have to open it to actually visually see me. Oh, there he is. He's trying to trick me. Hey, I know you're there. Alright. As you can see, there's guns in these boxes, too. There's a couple of boxes that don't have any weapons in it, which is kind of strange. And all the others do, but... Whatever. Okay. it's another guy down. Now, if you're a certain range away, they they can't really shoot you, which is good. Because their rockets won't reach. Uh, this guy doesn't even care. He's just trying to ignore me. Doesn't really work well. So I'm going to try to do this. Kind of get this guy. Because I know there's one right around this corner. Hopefully that got him. Not. Let's try to get this guy. Because I saw his arm right down here. They gotta wait for the smoke to clear. Slowly inch my way. Uh oh, he sees me. Whoa. <laughs> very, uh, very dangerous. Very dangerous. I think this guy's also right handed. Which makes this a bit difficult. He sees me, as you can see. Alright, let's inch our way. Oh god, so close. Problem is I can't see him through that smoke. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he was dangerous because he was right-handed. Okay, I got him. He should be right near where I need to be. Right around this... Oh! Yeah, see how dangerous this is? Okay, so I think I'm back to a similar point, so hopefully this time it will work. Again, as you guys see, it's <laughs> not very easy. So, gotta deal with these guys again. Being right-handed and all. Whoa. Okay, let's just try to outrun this. Jeez. Yeah, I'll try to take him out with a rocket. I think that hit him. Hopefully it did. <laughs> wait for this wait for the smoke to clear and let's take a look. Guards can see through the smoke, so it's pretty uh, yeah, there he is. Can't shoot me though because his right hand goes into the wall. And there's a guard trying to shoot me, but he's at a box. Oh, he just killed his own guy. That works. That's one of the right-hand guys down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
They keep shooting rockets even though they don't even see me. So let's slowly move up. Whoa! <laughs> they are so dangerous. Okay. Just kind of slowly sneak around. Okay, this is where I died last time, I can tell. So let's just take this very, very, very slowly. so he can barely... Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is hard. <laughs> okay, third time better be the charm. I'm just gonna wait for the smoke to clear, but I'm gonna take this a bit differently. Since he is right-handed, what I'm gonna do is this. Run as fast as I can to get past him. And now, uh, I might have a better chance, since if I can get him on his left side, he can't shoot me. As long as I don't poke out too far. Oh! This guy is just literally impossible. Ah, oh, this is just getting depressing. Yeah, still depressing. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, he didn't even see me that time. How? Why did he shoot a rocket? <sighs> oh, this is just amazing. Might just charge him. Oh, but there's two of them. If I can get a rocket off, that would be nice. Okay, I think I might have gotten one of them, but I don't really want to take a look until that smoke clears. Now I'm definitely at one hit kill. Oh. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I heard two of them die. I think there's only two of them down there. I'm not very sure. <sighs> My nerves. Okay, that's it. That's it. Make sure there's no guys around here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is keep opening and closing this door. Because they can't see you through this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to lure them. So these are the last guys in the level that I have to deal with. So if I can get them out of the way, which I think I did, this will be good. I can finally finish this. 19 minutes in, but... It is a hard level, so... Whoa, look at all those rocket launchers. I think I did get all of them. Just be careful. There's one guy left here. Let's get him. Oh, two of them? Never saw two of them in the corner before. Okay. So that's it. Now we can finally get out of here. Make sure all the objectives are done. Besides that one. Okay. Good. Only took 20 minutes. <laughs> then again, I hadn't beaten this before, so it was me just trying to make up strategies along the way. 
Uh, so there's that. Gotta take the middle one. And here we go. So that's one out of 18 story missions. I might do the extra missions, I'm not sure. Aztec is very hard. And since I had the cheat on, we can't see the ending cinematic. So overall, the mission took me 13 minutes. That's not too bad. So next would be facility, and just to show you, just enemy rockets. So yeah, facility next.